this video, I'm going to introduce how to create various digital project connected to database. Firstly, this is my SQL Server Management Studio. I have several databases. And now I want to use the AdventureWorks LT2012. In your assignment, you are supposed to create your own database. The tables that I want, I want to work with is sales LT address. So firstly, I select top 1000 datasets out from this table. What I want to do is search by the address ID because the address ID is the primary key. You can see there's value 9, 11, uh, 25, and 28, and so on. Then let's open our Vera Studio 2019. Hit the Create New Project button. Please select the Windows Form Application.NET Framework Template. Double click it, give it a project name, EA310 demo. Make sure the location is the place where you want to save your project. Then hit enter button. Then this is the form it created automatically for you. You can add your new data source. Select database and then next. Data set and then next. So here I have already created a, connect, a data connection. When you first do it, you hit the new collection but new connection button and search for the server name. It takes a while. So we Okay, let's wait. There are a bunch of different servers. Currently what I'm using is the uh 20002 uh, so 002 ms sql server uh, number 2 then it allows me to select the database that i want to use so lt2012 hit ok and then next this is the connection string you can just leave it here you can retrieve tables, views, store procedures, and uh, functions as you need. Here, I just want to do the tables for this demo. I hit finish. Okay. Now let's move it, move it a little bit to here. I hit the view button and I want to open the toolbox. The toolbox is allowing me to drag different controls. For example, I want to use the text box. So after I drag it on to my form, I have the ability to modify its name. You can change the text box name from the properties. So here is the name. Want to give a name as search box. This this text box is used for get inputs with uh user's input. 
like the user input the address ID that they want to inquiry, then you get the information and pass it to your system. After that, I want to drag button, then change the text on the button from the property as well. Search, that means after the user input their information, they can hit the search button to get the result of the inquiry. And then hit the data sources and expand the data set. You can find the address table is here. Then I drag it onto my form as well. You adjust the size of it to make it look better. You will find that after you drag this table, it's gonna be empty, right? So just leave it there. You uh, select the top area and hit delete. And then you can adjust the size of the text box and the location of the button just to make it a little bit better. And then hit the data sources and select the edit data set with designer. This is the uh, designer for the whole database. We find the table that we want to use and double click it, select add and query. You can build up the uh, query which can access the database. You can use SQL statements or create new store procedure or use the existing store procedure. Here what I want to do is the use uh, SQL statements. And I'm gonna select which returns rows in next. So this is the default query, which it generated for me. Because I want to search the information by using the address ID. So I write a where class where address ID equals to some value. And then query builder try to build my query. So here is a button which kind of let you uh, test your query. You can give a parameter number or a value. Here I want the value equals to 11. After I do that, the 11 row is returned. That means the SQL is valid. I hit OK and finish it. And then you can see there is one SQL named fill by created here. When you hold over, you can see there's a SQL you just uh, defined. Remember the name is fill by, which we're gonna use later on. Come back to the form. You can see it. Come back to the form. <coughs> And we have this text uh, text box named search box and search. You double click the search button and then it will redirect you to the form1.cs file. Here you can write some C sharp code. This is a form1 load. You comment out this line. And here what you're gonna do is you define your parameter. So remember, we're gonna get the information from search box. This is the search box information. However, it's in string type. But here we won't use the in type because the uh, address ID is in int type. Then what we have to do is we pass this string into an integer function. And then you can kind of copy this line, which you just comment it out. Address table adapter dot fill 
here you have to use the function which you just defined in a designer. Remember the name is fill by. And this address table, this adventure works LT data set address and pass this search integer into the function and then what it gonna do is it gonna use the SQL file which you defined and pass this search into the SQL as the parameter okay let's save it and go back and now you can hit the start button takes a while this is your system you just created let's type in some number and hit search then you will see your result is here we change it to 11 and then search or 28 when you try to type 1 it's empty because there is no information has the uh, address ID equals 1. Okay, that's it.